Hi, my name's Penny and I am here to declare my TBR for the Book Junkie Trials. So the Book Junkie Trials is a readathon happening in July. It goes for the whole month of July and I will leave all the links down below because it is quite a detailed readathon. I'm very impressed with all the effort that Rachel Marie has put in. But basically there is a map and as you travel through the map, you have to complete different reading prompts on your journey towards finding the bookie grail. There are also different classes, so there are mages, scribes, outlaws, and bards, and each one of those different classes follows a different journey, as well as there is a strength and a weakness for each class. So I was chosen to be in mages, both because that's what my personality quiz said, and also the Marquess of the Magi is Becca in the Books, who is one of my favorite booktubers, so I think I would have chosen to be in that class regardless. So for the Magi, our strengths and weaknesses are that we get to start three days early because we are able to mess with time using our magical abilities, but also our weakness is that we have to read a book out of our comfort zone because one of our spells went awry. You know, it happens sometimes. So also, I was quite jealous of the beautiful crowns that our royalty have in this readathon. If you check out all their announcement videos, you will see they are beautiful crowns. So I decided that I would be a cat mage. Now, just so you know, I do actually have real magical cat ears, but you guys can't see them because only other mages can see them, and also it doesn't translate through the camera. So I have to wear these fake ears just so that you know I'm a cat mage. It's a little bit like how in the last unicorn movie the witch puts a fake horn on the unicorn so that all the people coming to see the unicorn can see them even though they're actually not pure and true enough to see the real unicorn horn. It's just like that. I'm also a little bit inspired by the cat mages in Monstrous. I just really love them. I think they're actually necromancers. <laughs> Maybe I'm a necromancer. The cats in Monstrous, I believe the strength of their ability is dependent on the number of tails they have. And I do have a lot of tails. I'll be wearing my cat ears for all my book junkie videos. Maybe for the whole of July, because I do like them. Uh, also, I did a couple of days ago post uh, my TBR machine. TBR pick. So what I've been doing lately is I made this website that spits out random reading prompts and I've been using that to pick my monthly TBRs. I still wanted to do that as well as doing this readathon, which is very ambitious, but that's what we're going to do. So after I did that video, I have done a little bit of shuffling to make things work and I've now locked in my Book Junkie Trials TBR. So that's what we're going to go through today. So I do plan to go on the journeys for each of the different classes. I think I'm going to try and do a different class every week, but you know, plans don't always go to plan. That's the plan. So the first week we're going to do the journey of the Magi. So let's go through the prompts for that journey. So we start our journey at Orc Grove where we need to read something gory, gruesome, or gritty. And for that, I'm going to read The Cold One by Christopher Pike. I haven't read a Christopher Pike book in quite a while. He used to be one of my favorite authors as a teen. I don't really know what this is about, except that there's a supernatural terror. Uh, it also talks about bodies being literally ripped to pieces. So I think this should be fairly gruesome. I've also had this book a long time, so I just need to read it. So then we're going to head to Old Pirate Cove, where we need to read a book set on the sea. Now for this, I'm going to listen to an audiobook, uh, but it's not easy because it's a 34-hour audiobook, and that is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. Now, I'm not actually sure whether this continues on from the Farsia trilogy, but I do believe it's the next series that she published. I read the Farsia trilogy recently. It's got boats in it, so it has to be set on the sea. I hope. Next we head to Glimmer, which is an island covered in gems and crystals, and for this we need to read a beautiful or colourful book. Uh, and for this one, I'm also going to cover our weakness, which is to read a book out of our comfort zone. Uh, I'm going to read The Next Together by Lauren James. I've had this on my TBR for a long time and I haven't picked it up because it's kind of a romance, although I believe it's also a romance where every time they get born they fall in love and then they're tragically separated and then they meet again in another life. I don't tend to like romance so I tend to put off picking up the romances on my TBR shelf. Definitely out of my comfort zone, so 
this will be the book I read for Glimmer. It is also, I don't know if I would call it beautiful. It's not my favorite style of book cover, but it's kind of pretty. I do like the spine, actually, this color. Ooh, pretty. Um, and it's very colorful. So I think it counts. Then we stop by Draconic Isle where we need to read a book with dragons in it. And for this I actually purposely borrowed, you can kind of see it back there, the Tea Dragon Society from my sister because I thought it would be an easy way to get this done. But you know what, I have the audiobook for Eldest which is the second book in the Aragon series, is that what the series is called? So since I've got that audiobook and I need to listen to it, I may as well count it for a reading prompt. The Aragon series is this classic dragon story written by this guy when he was very young. Um, basically this guy finds a dragon egg, ends up becoming a dragon rider, the first of the dragon riders for a very long time. There's an evil king and he's working his way up to taking on the king. So I believe in the second book he'll be doing some training type stuff. I think that one's just a normal length audio book so at least that's not crazy. Blah, 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 blah. Then finally we will make it to the bookie grail which is a lost manuscript delivered by a fallen star and for that we're reading the group book which is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. As I said in my last video I don't really know what this is about. Something about a fallen star and some kind of elves or fae, a unicorn. Those things are all cool. I have the book here. I also have the audio CD. I'm thinking I'm going to read it while I listen to it. I think it's really short either way. So it's just going to depend how scheduling works out. I think which one of these I go for or whether I go for both. So these will be the physical books I need to read for the Magi journey as well as two audio books. Then I think next I'm going to go along the journey of the scribes because I think the scribes are the next class that I most relate to. I do like writing. Obviously I like reading. So firstly we start the scribes journey at Dwarf Mount where we need to read a book with a hint of romance because after being around all those dwarves we needed a bit more romance. And for this I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't know much about this other than I think there is angels and demons and gargoyles. It's the gargoyles that I am the most excited about but also I can't imagine that a story about angels and demons wouldn't have a hint of romance so I'm certain it does. So I'm going to read that one because, because a hint of romance is my preferable amount of romance. Hopefully it won't have too much romance. Next the scribes need to head to the Apothecary Towers where unfortunately these devilish wizards have blindfolded us and randomized our bookshelves and we need to pick a random book up our shelves. Now I haven't done this yet but I thought it would be fun to actually blindfold myself and pick a book. At the moment I just recently moved my books to have this rainbowness and what Part of what I don't like about it is the fact that they seem very random. All my red books are mixed in with my own reds. My series are all over the place. So I feel like my bookshelves have actually been randomized. I haven't had a chance yet to really learn where everything is. So I'm going to blindfold myself and then I'll pick a book. Hopefully I won't pull my bookshelves over on top of myself and I will be trying to pick a short book because my TBR is way too long already. Let's see how this goes. I can kind of see the floor which is kind of useful because I don't want to die but I'll try to. I definitely can't see enough to um I can't see well enough to cheat. Where is my bookshelf? Gosh this must look ridiculous. Okay bookshelf at the top right and then I don't oh gosh what are you oh Rosalina um so I wanted a shortish book do I want it from this oh this is a short book I don't know where I'm at but where's another short book that's a short book oh he's mm, this one's shorter I think oh where am I wow I don't know this at all. Any of these shorter than this one? I don't think so. I'm just gonna, oh that one? No this one's shorter. I think I'm gonna go with this one. What is it? 
Oh, my ears, my hair. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to also be adding to my TBR Scavenger Hunt by Christopher Pike. It is short, so that'll be easy. It's only 176 pages. I don't really know what this one's about, and I honestly don't even remember whether I've read this one or not. There are many hells in this world. Which should we visit first? Mm. Well, we're reading that one. So next, the scribes will be heading to the Great Library where we need to read a book that's been on our TBR shelf forever. I've picked this book, uh, A Heroine of the World by Tanith Lee. I don't even remember where I got this book from, but I have certainly had it a long time. And I don't know what it's about. A fortune teller has spoken the words, lightning strikes shown her the cards that predicted she would become the focal point of great events. I don't know, it's some kind of classic epic fantasy thing. Now, I did for my TBR machine swap this out because I had picked The Painted Man by Peter V. Brett. I picked that for Intimidating Book uh, because it was long, but actually I've decided to go with this one because even though I'm less excited about reading this one, which actually makes it more intimidating, I can fit it into this readathon too. So I swap things around a little bit, but I don't feel like it's cheating because I still have a very challenging TBR either way. And if I was cheating, I'd be cheating for my TBR machine challenge, which is my own challenge and I make the rules, so who cares? Then lastly for the scribes, we need to head to the Drowning Deep where we need to read a book with deep and rich world building. For this I'm going to read Hunter's Oath by Michelle West. I still don't know what it's about. Some guys who form a bond and then have to save the world. I don't know, there's a lot of fantasy names. A mention of gods. Epic fantasy again. I'm sure it has amazing world building because this goes on to be like a longer series. Initially I think it's a duology but then there are more books set in the same world so there's got to be some decent world building to have made that possible. Sometimes it's really hard to like match the reading prompts without spoiling yourself for what the book's about because I, I don't want to look it up because I don't want to know. So that will mean for the scribe's journey I need to read three physical books. Both of these are 450 pages which is not ideal but at least this one's short and I will also listen to one audiobook. So then the next class that I'm going to do is the bard class. I think again I quite like music. I do music stuff sometimes. Not really anymore but I want to do more music stuff. So you know I have a connection to the bards so I'm going to go on their journey too. The bards are going to start with the elven guard where they need to read a book that has military, war or politic themes. And for this I'm going to read Blood Witch by Susan Dennard. I do have the audiobook on hold. It should most certainly come through by then, but if it doesn't, then I think I'll work something out. Now, if you watch my videos at the start of the year, you'll know I actually started this book and then I just decided the writing style doesn't vibe with me and I'd rather continue the series via audiobook because I feel like when the writing style doesn't quite vibe with me, I can deal with it if I can listen to the audiobook. And I do really like the world of the Truth Witch series. I think the different powers are interesting. I think the way all the different plots are interweaving and the history. There's lots of really interesting stuff. I just could not get through that book in physical form. Then next we'll be heading to Hello Island where we need to read an atmospheric or a horror book. For this I'm going to listen to The Last Magician. I don't really know much about this one. I think there's like this secret society of magicians. I think it's kind of set in New York. So secret societies are quite atmospheric and this one girl has the ability to travel in time and she has to go back in time and steal something from these bad mages. Someone on Discord told me that it was atmospheric so it's going to count. I am going to read a physical book for the bard's journey, don't worry. I'm going to read Middle Game by Sean Ann McGuire. Now this is waiting for me at the library but I'm not going to pick it up until the last moment I have to because I want to get the most time with it as possible and I don't have time to start reading it yet. I'm not going to read it until the third week of July if my plans go to plan. <laughs> Never happens. But this is quite a big book so I think along with listening to three audiobooks that'll keep me busy for the week. And let's not even talk about the fact that I need to read some books outside of this TBR. So then lastly for the bards we're going to go and see the giant squid. And for this we need to read an intimidating book. And for this I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Pride and Prejudice. This book 
I have put it on my TBS so many times. Like, I want to read it. I want to know more about the story of Pride and Prejudice. I have in the past watched the Lizzie Bennet Diaries web series. I really enjoyed that. And I really want to know what the source material is like. But I just feel like the writing style makes me too scared to even start. Because I don't tend to like older style writing. So I realized I can listen to the audiobook and it'll make it much more easier. I still think it is intimidating even listening to that kind of writing. But if I don't listen to the audiobook, I'm never going to read this book. So it's definitely an intimidating book. So then lastly, I will be going on the journey along with the Outlaws. Now, the Outlaws are the team that I identify with least. I do like to do things my own way, but at my heart, I'm a good girl. I just don't break rules unless I've got a really good reason. Although, I will admit that the Countess of the Outlaws is hot, so kind of disappointing that I can't be an outlaw, but I've come to accept that I'm just not bad enough to be an outlaw. Maybe I could be like a Robin Hood type outlaw where I like take from the rich to give to the poor. Maybe I could be an outlaw. We'll think about it. So the Outlaw's journey starts at the Crimson Peaks where we need to reread a favorite. For this, I went with the easiest option. So I'm going to reread Katandra, which was one of my favorite books as a child, mainly because it's got a cat. Um, it does also have kind of a message about healthy eating and like overcoming bullying, although I'm not 100% sure if it's body positive, but I'll reread it and we'll see. It's weird to say that a book about a cat might not be body positive, but like this is the world we live in. So I will be rereading that. It's real short. It's real easy. Then next we're heading to the Queendom Stone where we need to read a book about royalty. And for this I am going to read Prince of Dogs. It's right there in the title. There's a prince. That's royalty. This is a book though about a bunch of different people fighting over the throne of this kingdom as well as there being dark magic and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. I read the first book a little while ago. I'm very excited to read the second book even though I'm kind of intimidated because it is a fatty and also a tall boy. But I do know that I really love some of the characters so I am excited to continue with the series. It is a seven book series and I don't want the seven books to take me forever so I do need to continue. Then next the outlaws are heading to the Forgotten Forest where they need to read a book that is the next in the series. I'm going to pick up the final book from the Millennium series by Stieg Larsson, The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. I've been listening to the audiobooks of this for a little while this year I think basically to try and get these physical books off my shelves so I am going to listen to the audiobook not read this but I do believe it's still quite a long audiobook so it will take me a while to read. So yes I'll be reading that one and then the next place that we will be going to is the Weeping Falls where we need to read A Tearjerker and for that I'm going to be reading Before I Die by Jenny Downham. This is about a girl who knows she only has a few months left to live. That is totally the kind of thing that makes me cry so I'm sure that it will. So that means for the Outlaws I'm kind of going to read these four books but one of them is an audiobook. So physical wise I only need to read these three. So it's kind of like each week is just slightly heavy on reading and I think it would be perfectly fine if I didn't also have some other books that I also want to read because of my TBR machine challenge. But you know journeying in the life of a mage aren't always easy. So if you're doing the book junkie trials let me know uh, especially if you're a mage maybe we can journey together. Um, maybe some of you are reading the same books that would be cool although I know a lot of my books are older books so maybe not. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.